Okay, so question uh, 22B uh, was uh, find the maximum value of x. So we are asked to find the, the maximum value of x. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the same equation given there in the graph. So I'm going to write that equation here. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this equation. So I'm going to write y is equal to, then I'm going to multiply x multiplied by, negative x multiplied by x will give me negative x squared. Then I'm going also to multiply negative x multiplied by negative 5, it will give me 5x. Then uh, I'm going to start now multiplying these, uh, these in terms in the, the bracket which is on the right side by 2. So 2 by x will give me 2x which is plus 2x then uh, 2 by negative 5 will give me negative 10 then I'm going to write y is equal to negative x squared then 5 plus 2x 5 5x plus 2x will give me 7x which is equal to which is uh, it's going to give me 5 plus 2x will give me 7x then which is going to be negative 10 at the end okay so as you can see negative x squared and negative 10 i have done nothing to them i have only added 5x plus 2x okay once i've done that now i've come up with the the equation the expression there which is negative x squared plus 7x is minus 10 okay negative x squared plus 7 minus plus 7x minus 10. Then what I'm going to do now here, I'm going to write the formula which can help me to find the value of y. And the formula is y is equal to 4ac minus b squared over 4a. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to get the, the values of the uh, let us then that expression in the equation I just found the one I've underlined in lead. Okay, that is the one that is going to help me to find to to come up with the values. So basically, what is there is uh, a is equal to negative x squared. Then b that is seven x and c that is negative ten. Okay, so where there is a, I'm going to put the coefficient of negative x squared okay and where there is b i'm going to put seven where there is c i'm going to put negative ten okay so let us let us start so i'm going to write four then where there is a i'm going to get the coefficient of negative x squared which is one so i'm going to multiply by one then where there is c i'm going to get negative ten then minus c uh, b squared that is 7 squared okay then over 4a so where this i'm going to write 4a where there is 4 i'm going to put 4 then when there is a i'm going to put negative 1 like i explained earlier on then later now next i'm going to deal with the bracket so i'm going to write 4 which is going to be 4 then i'm going to multiply negative 1 multiply by negative 10 will give me positive 10 which I will multiply by 4 okay 4 by 10 okay minus the product of that minus the square of 7 which is 49 okay over then 4 multiplied by negative 1 will give me negative 4 then I'm going to do again with the brackets or multiplication first so I'm going to have 4 by 10 will give me 40 minus 49 over negative 4 okay once i've done that then i'm going to find the difference of 40 and 49 which is 40 minus 49 will give me negative 9 which will be over negative 4. now here i'm going to get rid of the negative signs so i'm going to cancel the negative on top and the negative down so here the secret is whatever you do on top do it down that's why I'm able to get rid of the negative sign. What I did on, on top, that's what I've done down. Okay. Then I'm going to remain with 9 over 4. 
okay so 9 over 4 can be an answer if you decide to give that answer in you uh, in proper fraction form but you can still go further and write it as a mixed fraction by uh, dividing 9 by 4 so 9 into 4 into 9 will give us 2 then remainder 1 which will be 1 over 4 okay so you can even give the answers in a mixed fraction so that is the maximum value of x in that uh, graph okay let's go to question 23 i'm sure that's the last one 